the navigators are the, often the first person to talk to a patient after they found out they've had a cancer diagnosis. It can be nerve wracking because you don't know at first how a patient's going to react when the navigator calls them. Um, you don't know how, if they were expecting the diagnosis, if it was a shock to them, if they um, are, have family support, um, what their economic status is. There's a lot of things that go into it. So we make sure the patients have everything they need and get everywhere they need to go before treatment actually starts. We're also responsible for taking care of the tumor boards and running those. We have weekly tumor boards for multiple disciplines. We discuss all of our new patients for the day, also our patients that are already on treatment, just to catch up and see how they're doing. And then we also have an additional discussion list of patients who maybe had a new scan that might show something concerning or they had a new biopsy and we have to go over their pathology. People that attend Tumor Board are, other than the nurse navigator, we have the clinical trial nurses, our social workers, our dietitian, our speech pathologist, surgical oncology, radiation oncology, medical oncology, radiologist, and pathology. Um, the chaplain sometimes will be there as well, and anyone else who may need to just be a part of conference for that day specifically to talk about a certain patient so that the team can come up with a consensus of a treatment plan for the patients. All of the players involved need to be involved. If they weren't there, then the patient would be missing some aspect of their care. So there's a lot, a lot of things that go into taking care of the cancer patient that are other than treating their cancer. You have to treat the whole person and the navigators strive to make sure that happens.